got a son called Darren and a daughter whose name is Karen. Without them, my life would be barren, like living on the Isle of Arran. Now, Darren used to be a nuisance, but since he started work at the off-licence, he's out until twelve, his hair is nicely gelled, and we get on very well, yes, he's a true prince. Mm. Oh, that's right. Karen plays a recorder and composes pretty tunes to order. It's fantastic, love. I think we should applaud her. Yes, oh, yes. Yeah. Excellent. We present Christmas Eve with the Shuttleworths. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. It's a slow rock. Oh, John, get it right. Come on, say it, we're back on course. Yes. Sorry about that, everybody. Doesn't matter, John. Doesn't matter. Not an Karen. Yeah. Now I've got a son called Darren and a daughter whose name is Karen. Without them, my life would be barren, like living on the Isle of Arran. Like living on the Isle of Arran. Like living on the Isle of Arran. Living on the Isle of Arran, like living on the Isle of Arran. Oh, yeah. mm. oh. Is there somebody at the door, John? No, oh, very funny, Ken. Mm. <laughs> no, Ken, there isn't. Mm. But no, I can see why Ken would be confused. It's very similar to a doorbell. Yes. This is uh, the door. That one, number 61. <laughs> That's a doorbell. Yes. But, um, yes. welcome like to uh, Christmas with the Shuttleworths. Hello. Thank you, yes. Sorry, Mary, didn't, uh, there was a verse about you, actually. Was that, there? But I forgot it. No. When I went wrong. I see. But, um, oh. Ken, you weren't mentioned uh, in the song, <coughs> as uh, Ken Worthington, because you're not uh, one of the family. No. But you are a family no. friend. Mm. And yes. uh, you're very welcome yeah, tonight. Ken. That's right. Thank uh, you. And, uh, you know, I see you've made yourself at home already. Mm. Yourself a Malibu. Oh, yes. Uh, do help yourself to uh, nuts and there's some light snacks behind mm. you. Yes, help uh, yourself, little bowl, oh. you know. Oh, thank right. you. But can I ask you please not to uh, lean back on um, the sideboard? Because it's got very little casters. Oh, and, uh, you right. know, you're mm. digging holes in the carpet. Yes, yeah. oh, that's Why don't you find yourself a, a seat, Ken? Mm. You know, there's plenty of seats available. Well, because I'm not stopping, John. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just popped in, you know, to say hello. No. What do you mean? Well, uh, I'm entertaining, you know. Who? Uh, Joyce. Oh. Um, lady I met at the library. Oh, yes. She's been out to my house a few times to play the piano. Uh -huh. um, she's not a reader. She just plays with one hand, you know, and picks out the melodies uh -huh. of um, contemporary songs. And I just sit on my chair and read the paper. Yeah. Well, mm. We seem to get on quite well, you know. But mm. can. Generally, she's coming round and making us something to eat. Can. And um, no. I watch the telly, you know. No, you should have told me about this a long time ago. Well, because I only knew no, today. Yeah, we're I? supposed to be uh, singing songs, you know, carols. And well, I'm sorry. I, I was going to ask you to uh, read a poem out a little bit later. Oh, were you? Yeah. I'd have enjoyed that. Well, stay. Stay, Ken. Another time. Oh, she's just all right. I've just seen the Nissan Micra. Uh, I've mm. seen the headlights. Oh, no. She's parking in my drive. I've got to go. Well, that's silly. Bye-bye. What if you suddenly need to get out? Thank yeah. you for having me, Mary. Merry Christmas, Karen. Ken. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Ken. Merry Christmas, everybody. Ken. Say hello. Oh, that's ridiculous. <clears throat> Why? That's completely scuppered uh, the male harmony section. No, oh, it hasn't. Because, of course, Darren isn't here. Mm. He's uh, at the off-licence, as was mentioned in the song. And it's uh, a very busy night ahead for Darren, of course. Uh, it's the last chance for people to get uh, the drink orders in before Christmas. And uh, he'll be going on to a club afterwards, mm. a couple of friends. That's right. And he won't be back in time for the finale. No. So, hey, where's Karen? Well, she's going to get ready, Jam. What do you mean? She's going skating. Didn't she tell you? <sighs> no. She's going with Hayley. No, she did not tell me, Mary. No. And uh, I'm very cross that uh, she suddenly sprung this on us. Well, this is two down. No. You know, we're going to have an empty house before long. This well, is ridiculous. She told me about it. Surprised you don't know. Well, she told me. She didn't tell me. Anyway, it's boring for her, isn't it? Staying on no, Christmas Eve. No, not, no, it no, isn't. She wants to be out with her friends. Well, that's silly. She? That's uh, short sighted of her. What do you mean? <sighs> hey? Well, you know. Well, we said that. Anyway, 
uh, we're without Karen. And uh, that's unprecedented, you know, because she's always loved uh, Christmas Eve at home mm. with the family. Sure. In fact, uh, a few Christmases ago, she did a, a lovely deed, which I'd like to tell you about, because I don't want you to think badly of it, you know. Several Yuletides passed on the TV news broadcasts were scenes of starving Africans most shocking. Karen, then aged ten, decided there and then to forego the satsuma in her Christmas stocking. She popped it in the post. Instructions were enclosed for the proper distribution of this sundry. Make sure my tangerine is shared fairly between the little boys and girls who are so hungry. Karen's tangerine, the gesture of the queen. How generous she's been. Oh, Karen's tangerine. I think Karen's plan was that uh, each village should receive a segment, you know. Christmas came and went, no thank you note was sent, to say the gift was gratefully accepted. Did Karen's mission fail? Did it perish in the mail? Or was it somehow cruelly intercepted? You know, um, an unscrupulous army captain might have seized it at gunpoint and uh, gobbled it all up himself, without even giving any to his man. I mean, just don't know, do you? Anyway, I think it was a fantastic gesture on my daughter's part. Oh, Karen's tangerine, the gesture of a queen. How generous she's been. Oh, Karen's tangerine. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Karen's tangerine. And it contrasts very sharply. With the current behaviour, you know. Yeah. Mary, why have you got your coat on? Right, sir. Um, you cold? No, no, I'm going out, love. Uh, with Joan. Joan Chitty's come round. Uh, Joan, Hi, Jan. Oh, hello, hello, Joan. Hey, well. Joan Chitty, mm. of course, who uh, qualified recently as a physio. Oh, that's right, isn't it? You well, Joan? Yes, I'm fine, you. Oh, hey, he's, he's taping. He's taping now. Yeah. Oh. I am. Hey, you come to sing some carols at the church? Uh, yes, uh, Jones asked me to go with it, so uh, carols by candlelight, John. That's she. You're very welcome to come. Yeah, right. you, you are, yeah. You don't have to. Yeah, well, I don't think I can, Mary, really, mm. because I'm, you know, doing my broadcast, aren't I? Oh. Can't suddenly mm. drop everything. Well, can't you press pause? No, mm. no, I can't. Carry on later. It'd be a nasty click, wouldn't mm. it? Well. You know, you go off, Mary. All right, love. You, you enjoy yourself. Yeah. See you, John. Have a nice Christmas. Yeah. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you, Joan. Uh, see you later, Mary. Yes, sir. Bye. Right. Um, moving on now. I uh, hope you're all having a nice time at home. Uh, we're, you know... I think I'm going to go carol singing, actually. But uh, I'm not going to the church. I'm going to go on my own uh, down our road. Because uh, I'd like to raise some money to buy table tennis equipment for the local boys' club. Because they've only got hard bats, and I think they'd benefit from some sponge ones, you know. So, uh, you're very welcome to come with me. Yeah? Well, see you in a bit then. The Lord came down, and glory shone around. Do you like uh, that technique that I'm using? It's, uh, you see, what I've done is I've recorded a vocal uh, earlier and I'm playing it back and singing along with harmonies. And you see, people think it's two people. And in my experience, uh, they're more likely to give generously um, if they think it's two. If it's just one, uh, you know, they don't come to the door. <laughs> they're not coming. That's very rude of them. No, well, you see, there's somebody in. He's a bloke uh, sat at a computer looking very serious. It's not entering into the Christmas spirit, is it? I hope his wife's just come in with a little tray, some sandwiches and a mug of coffee. Oh, she just... I thought they were for him, for her. She sat on the sofa and, uh, you know, he's not looked up and she's not spoken. <laughs> you wouldn't think it was Christmas Eve, would you? And they've got a lovely tree, but they're not looking at it. Right, well, <coughs> they can please themselves. I'm 
we're going to go into the next house where I think we'll experience some joy because I know the occupant and you do too. <clears throat> I've done all right, you know, I've made about two pound twenty, two pound thirty, something like that. That'll buy you a couple of balls, one, two, three stone. Right, here we go then. See amid the winter snow, born for us on earth below. See, oh. Sorry about that. That's, uh, my fingers are so cold, you see. I just happened to it, um, you know, uh, forward. See the tender lamb oh. appear. Oh, slowing down. Oh. It's a battery, isn't it? Yes. Hail thou ever blessed mom. No. No, Jonas. Who are you collecting for? Uh, it's for the boys' club um, to buy table tennis equipment. Oh, that's nice. Yes, yeah. right. Um, I'll just go and get my bum bag. Okay. Do you want to step inside for a moment? Yes, I will. Have you got any ID? No, I'm only joking. <laughs> yeah. Is that uh, Joyce playing? Yes. Yes, it's Brian Adams, this one, I think. Ah. <coughs> you see, you've got an extra strong mint there amongst your change, can you? Mm. <laughs> we're not going to eat it. It's gone grey. Oh, I'm out, I won't. Ooh. <coughs> Not very good, can is she, really? Oh, hark at the maestro. Hmm. Leave her alone, she's having fun. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. there you are. Oh, Ken, it's a five-pound note. Mm. You sure you can spare uh, such a sum? Yes, yes, I am. Wow. Right, <coughs> thank you very much. Oh, you're kicking me out, are you? Well, <coughs> it's a private party, John. Yeah, all oh, right, I understand. <coughs> well, uh, maybe see you later. It's unlikely. <coughs> oh, see. <coughs> Right, well thanks Ken, and Merry Christmas to you. Yes, and to you. <coughs> hey, Mary's back. Uh, she's in the kitchen. Uh, basting the turkey, by the looks of it. Oh no, oh, she's defrosted it. And Joan Chitty's there, on the bar stool. She's having a cigarette, actually. Surprised Mary's letting her. Oh, Karen's here. Oh, <coughs> she's having a drink of water at the tap. Oh, she's having a long drink. Must have worked up quite a thirst. But she's done lots of speed skating. And Darren's coming back as well. I thought he was going to a club. Huh. Alright, son. Hello. Oh, he's got a nice box of uh, oh, some lagers there and uh, some after dinner mints on the top. Which would have secured at staff prices, you know. Merry Christmas, son. Joyce. Uh, oh. Joyce! Joyce, come back! Ken! Joyce! What's going on? <laughs> hey? Nothing. What? I just I tickled her, John. Yeah. I just tickled her. That's all. Well, you shouldn't do that when someone's playing the piano. That's golden rule number one. Joyce! She's going down the general. Joyce! She's going into the park, Ken. Yeah. What's she doing that for? Maybe she's going on the swings. Yeah. Joyce! Oh! What did she Oh, she's coming back, Ken. Oh! She's very angry. Can I go in your house for a moment, please? Well, do you mind? No. Take me keys, go on. Thanks, John. Hello. Oh! <laughs> she got my key to Ken's house. Uh, excuse me. Blimey. She's trespassing, aren't she? Effectively. And I don't think he's got his keys, because we only had light slacks on. And he's still blocked in, you see. Ooh. Oh well, hey, it's a full house now, isn't it? You see, they all come back in the end. I hope you have a lovely Christmas. Go to bed now or you'll be listless. When tomorrow comes and you fill your tums with turkey mince pies and salted crisps plus other dainties, uh, such as cashew nuts, orange segments, that sort of thing, you know. See you then. ta -ra. Ken! Christmas Eve with the Shuttleworths was written and performed by Graham Fellows and produced by Paul Schlesinger.